What's up guys? Hello, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome to my wave dash guide. In this video, we're gonna talk about the legacy Mishima technique that we use to apply a 50-50. Uh, how do we do it? How do we practice it? And what is its utility? So wave dash, outside of looking super badass, uh, advances onto the opponent very quickly, while at all times threatening the huge 50-50. I mean, that's basically why we do it. We rush down our opponent and threaten with the super strong Mishima 50-50. Another reason to do it, which is super critical, is the fact that a wave dash tracks the opponent. Every single crouch dash realigns you with the opponent, if they move with depth. Let's say they sidestep. For example, the Hell Sweep has always been beaten by sidewalking to the, to the left. That's usually how you beat it. Note here, Jin blocks my jab, and then he just steps casually my health sweep here to the left. He steps it. But if I wave that super quickly here... Oops! Can't do that, right? So wave dash, for many reasons, is very important. And if you can get, I mean, you're going to have a lot of help just getting a slow wave dash like this. But if you can get a reasonably fast one, like, that, that does help a lot. Because you're going to need a quick one if you want to track your opponent like that. Uh, so basically, uh, that's the utility. Uh, now, how do we wave dash? And then I'm going to show you some cancels you're going to want to know. So first off, I'm sure you know how to do a crouch dash. So that's forward and then let go. And then you can actually do a core circle forward. You can do an entire like uh, Hadouken motion. Core circle forward if you want to. I mean, this is how I wave dash. Just forward, uh, let go, and then core circle forward. You don't have to do... Don't jerk it. Don't jerk it too much. You don't have to do this super fast. You can do it very relaxed. A lot of people st st stress about this and do it too fast. Just when you're practicing, just try and do it like this. Forward, core circle forward. And again, I'm sitting here with an arcade stick and you're probably thinking, My God, do I need to get a stick? You can do this on any controller. To be honest, this is harder to do on arcade stick. Arcade stick in general is the hardest controller to play on. Uh, I know everyone think it's the opposite, um, but you should be able to do this pretty nicely on a normal uh, PlayStation controller or whatever you play on. So again, slowly, forward, neutral, core circle forward. Now, the next step you're going to learn is doing a crouch dash and then tapping forward. So forward, neutral, core circle forward, let go and then tap forward. And Devil Jin, or whatever character you play, will immediately arch his back up again. You see that? Now you're doing it correctly if he just stands back up again very quickly. Whoop! Note that you want to be able to do this in a straight line. If a character starts sidestepping, you know you're misinputting. You're not doing it properly. Character should always stay in a straight line. So again, core circle forward, tap forward. And then now, next step is when you're comfortable with this, you try and add another another core circle forward. So you try and do two of them. This is what I did for the longest time. And then when I felt comfortable with that, I did three of them. Quite slowly, like this. And when I actually stayed at three, I remember this was a million years ago. I stayed at three for like a week, and I tried to, and this is important, I tried to not only use it in practice mode, but I used it in online... Uh, no, wait, <laughs> this was before online, sorry. This was uh, back, you know, the dawn of a dinosaur and cavemans. Uh, I did it against my brother when we played Versus. I, I did three dashes in a row like this, and then I tried to apply a mix-up on him. But so, if you play online, tr try and use this not only... It's, it's important to not only apply this in practice mode and in theory, but practice it in matches. Uh, you have to practice this as much as you can. So use it in matches immediately, because it's going to take a long time getting comfortable with this. Um, so when you can do the, the triple flawlessly, just try and do the endless one. And again, don't need to do it too fast, right? Can do something like this. But eventually, with time, it, it can look like this. But it takes an ungodly amount of work. And then, of course, and th this is something most people skip out on. <laughs> most people don't do this, but you do the same on the other side, right? 
Most people don't do that. Most people, they get comfortable on one side because God knows I understand this. It's so hard to learn to play Mishima with Wave Dash Electric and it cancels. It's so difficult that you don't want to repeat it on the other side. So what we do instead is we play on this side and then if we for any reason get a side switch, we do a 2-4 throw so we get our preferred side back. But if you're really serious, don't be that guy and try and practice this side as well. It's gonna be super awkward doing the side you're not comfortable with. But believe me, if you just stick to it, after being super awkward, it might even feel more natural than uh, your preferred side. So just repeat the steps we did on the other side. And just do, do on this side. And uh, but believe me, with some persistence, you will get it down. Uh, so that's just the wave dash, it's utility and how you can practice it. Um, and then now we're going to have to look at wave dash cancels. This is really important. This is, I, I can't stress enough how important this is. And, and this is gonna seem so simple what I'm about to show you, but it just changes a Mishima character. Demon Paw is a really strong attack. It's actually one of Devil Jin's top attacks. It's so important. I can do 4 4 2 like this. But a Mishima player won't do that. A Mishima player will do a, what is known as a crouch dash cancel like this. So when you do a crouch dash like this, the game actually registers this as a forward input. So if I do crouch dash into, into simply forward 2, I get an instant demon pull. So again, I do a crouch dash. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna turn off um, the moving around here. Uh, got block all, thank you. So again, I do a crouch dash. The game treats this as, okay, you've already pressed forward once. It's now buffered. So when I come out of a crouch dash, I just press forward two and I actually get the forward forward two motion and I get a demon pull. This also allows the initial crouch dash to extend the range of my demon pole. And suddenly, if I do crouch dash into demon pole, I can almost cover the entire goddamn screen. So again, forward for two looks like this, demon pole. If I do the crouch dash demon pole, I get infinite reach. And I can, in a very smooth way, control the placing of my demon pole. I can do a short and tight crouch dash, or I can do a very delayed one, which will allow me or give me the maximum amount of reach on my demon pole. I hope you understand how powerful wave dash cancel is. Uh, the next wave dash cancel we're gonna look at is doing a wave dash into down for two. This is the most important with Kazuya, because he, he, he might wanna wave dash into down for one, in his combos, or a down forward 3, or down forward 1, 2 is re really part. <laughs> I love that I did this. My god, what a fighter. Um, but with Devil Jin, you might want to do down forward 1, 2, uh, so something like that. And, and this is a cancel, because when we press down forward, you know, you crouch dash and you hold down forward. Of course, you're going to do a Hell Sweep, or a Thunder God Fist. So to do a cancel into a normal down forward 1, you're gonna do your crouch dash, tap forward, and now you hold forward. Now you do not let go, like you normally do. You keep holding, right? And now you slide into down forward without letting go. So crouch dash, tap forward, hold, do not let go, and slide into down forward and press 1. So now, um, I can dash into my poke here, should I want to, with a crouch dash. Again, giving me a ton of reach, right? So again, this is the most important with Kazuya. It's also very important, quite important with Reyna. Not so much with Devil Jin, but it's still nice to know. I mean, this, this isn't super, oh, well, oh, sorry. This isn't super bad. Uh, all right, <laughs> and the last cancel I'm going to show you and this is the hardest one by far, is the instant while standing cancel. Uh, so when you wave dash, you'll notice that if you do a wave crouch dash and let go, uh, and press 4, 
this this is actually so counterintuitive. Um, I can't believe the game works like this, but this is the way it is. If you do a crouch dash and you hold and you press a button, you get your crouch dash mix-ups, right? Right, so far so good. If you crouch dash and then let go and press one of the buttons, as the character is standing up, if I press four, I get while standing four. If I press uh, free, I get CD free. But for some reason here, this does not apply to punch buttons. So, if I press 2 here, I don't get my wild standing attack, I still get my crouch dash attack. Same with uh, pressing 1 button, I get Thunder God Fist. When, where you feel you should be getting wild standing too, right? Nope! Locked behind hardcore execution. If you want your wild standing too, which we really do, we really do, you have to do something very strict. You do a crouch dash, let go for like one frame, and then you press back, back, plus two. Like so. Crouch dash, neutral, back two. Th this is an elite Mishima technique. Uh, I just dropped it. This is very hard to do. Takes everyone a ton of practice to get down. So th this is not something all of you are going to want to do. Uh, but those of you who play Devil Jin or Kazuya, I mean that you, you, if you're really serious about Devil Jin and Kazuya, you you want to learn this technique. But again, only if you want to get super sweaty and nerdy like me, then you really want to learn this. But otherwise, like you don't have to do this. But yeah, if you want to go like high level with Kazuya and Devil Jin, you have to learn this technique. It's so powerful. So again. Crouch dash, neutral for one frame, and then back two. You can see me executing it. Can you see my hands? They're over here. You can see me execute this. Oh, I dropped it. Hey, you see, I mean, I've been doing this for a million years, and I still drop it at times. Oh, you know, I told you he has no utility from... That guy. He has, oh God, this is awkward. He has no utility from down forward. It's still nice to be able to apply this throw right from a wave dash. So, forward hold, down forward free. So we do have a lot of utility. And then forward, up one plus two. So still uh, nice being able to know, know, or knowing about that cancel, right? Uh, so this honestly is my wave dash guides. Uh, guides. No, there's only one, singular. So that covers the utility of a wave dash, why we want to do it. You know, the powerful rush down into 50-50, wave dash realigns with the opponent, so important. And then the different cancels you're going to want to use and how to practice them. So I really hope this was informative and uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.